Hey everybody, this is Josh from Clash Mirage. Going to try to bring you a very, very quick video here. Dane had, uh, and our clan had uh, brought you a video of the app called Record My Screen. Okay, um, basically it's going to record uh, videos. It basically just records your iPad, your iPhone screen. Um, it does have some quirks. Uh, scroll down here. Um, you want to make sure you follow the instructions in this video. Okay. You have to set the date. I'll bring up the uh, the website here. When you're going to download this app, right now you have to set your date on your device to 2012. Uh, download it, get it installed, and then you can set your date back to 2013. Okay, and it'll work from there. A few other quick things. Uh, don't want this video to be too too long. Your settings, I want to make sure you go into record my screen. Make sure you're set to video size half. Okay, not 75 or native. Video orientation is portrait. Do not touch any of these other buttons. You want to make sure that your device is horizontal in front of you with a home button to the left. Okay, and just leave it set to portrait. The default audio setting is off. Leave it to on. Uh, leave the sample rate and channel the same. Okay, so once you out and record a video, you're going to go into recordings and you're going to see a list of your recordings that you've made. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go in, touch one of your recordings, hit save to camera roll. Okay, and that's going to take one of your videos and move it over to your photos app. Okay, so you're going to go to your photos app and you're going to have a whole bunch of videos that you have just sent over there. Okay. Make sure also you have a bunch of options, photos, photo stream, your albums. Make sure you go into your camera roll and there is all your videos that you've sent over to your camera roll. Okay. The other thing is there is an option here. I can click on this and send it to YouTube. Do not send it to YouTube via your iDevice. Make sure you take that video and download it to your computer and send that video from your computer up to YouTube. Uh, if you don't, you're going to get a low quality video, not so good, just learning this now, just wanted to share it with you guys. So this is basically just a, a little add-on to uh, Dane's video, great app, check it out, like I said, it does have its quirks, but uh, it, it actually works very well. So I'll talk to you guys later, steady clash, everyone, talk to you soon, thanks.